Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how the shows on FM can be recorded with an Android device. A few weeks ago, I wanted to record a show that was being aired over the radio and I checked out uh, the Play Store and I couldn't find any app that would accomplish the task. I started digging into the problem and found the cause for this problem. It so happens that the phone manufacturers assemble the electronic component and when it comes to assembling the FM component, well, they build an FM component of their own since it's quite trivial and it turns out to be economical compared to buying it from another manufacturer. So since the component is not standardized, it's up to the manufacturers to provide an API for the FM module. So it's difficult to find the FM API. Another problem would be even if the API exists, it's difficult to write just one app that works across all phones since the APIs differ with each phone. Hence, it's not scalable. I found many of the uh, posts regarding this problem and uh, one of them happens to be this one, which reflects the uh, same whatever I just said. So the solution that I propose here is to use ADB. So ADB is uh, it's a command line tool. It's called Android Debug Bridge. Uh, it, using ADB, one could uh, send input events to phone such as text input, pressing a key or tapping on a particular location and so on. What I have here is a framework written in Golang. All that the user has to do is to fill out the configuration file and the Go framework will translate the configuration into ADB commands and execute them accordingly. One constraint with using ADB is that ADB by itself cannot run on the Android device. A workaround would be to root the Android device, but it isn't viable as it requires some expertise and in doing so, uh, it may void the warranty of the device. So we run the Go framework on a separate computer and Raspberry Pi happens to be a preferred device because it runs on low power. Note that the host for the framework should be active in order to send the ADB commands to the Android phone. Let me briefly describe the configuration details of the framework. It consists of three main parts, device info, record info, and the list of actions. Device info consists of the IP address of the Android device and the device password. This is uh, necessary for unlocking the device. The second component is the list of actions that need to be executed. For example, I have a tap command here and the corresponding inputs are these locations. So it is used to send the tap event to the Android phone. And remember that each command has the corresponding input. Here is a monkey command, which is used to launch the app having this package name. I will later show you how to get the package name for the app and this happens to be the package name for the FM app on my phone. The third component is the record info where the user must specify when to start the recording and when to stop the recording and the format should be in the 24 hour, 24 hour clock format. The user also has to specify the indices of the actions that have to be executed at this time. So what it means is when, when the clock reaches this time, execute the following action indices, which are zero and one that are specified in the list of actions. And, and when the, uh, and when it is time for the, uh, when the stop time is triggered, execute the uh, following indices 1, 2, 3, 3 in the action list. So it's a, a, a zero based indexing is followed here. Let me now give you a quick demo. Here is my Raspberry Pi running uh, the Go framework and here is my phone. Notice that the Raspberry Pi and my phone are not connected through a USB cable. They are connected over Wi-Fi and I have inserted the earphones for my phone for which is necessary for the uh, FM app, uh, FM app to run. So this is the Raspberry Pi screen. Notice the start and stop time that I have uh, specified. I have 
asked it to start the recording at 4.16 and end the recording at 4.19 and the clock is 4.13 now. So let me start the program and it will start in 3 minutes from now. So after 3 minutes my phone is going to be unlocked by the commands that are sent from the Raspberry Pi to my phone over the Wi-Fi. So the phone is getting unlocked now. It is. It just woke up the phone and it has entered the password and the time is 1616 by the way. Now it just launched the FM app and it has tapped on the record button and it has begun recording the FM. So it is 419 now since the phone went off to sleep it has woken it up again and it has unlocked the phone. It will now stop the recording and uh, it will enter the name that I have specified on its, by itself and it's going to save the file. And that's it. Let me now show you how to enable the uh, display of touch coordinates which is necessary for uh, writing the configuration file. Go to settings, scroll down and go to uh, debug set developer options, scroll down further and choose pointer location, enable pointer location and that's it. So whenever you touch on the phone, you get to see the uh, X and Y on the top left corner of the screen, which is right there. Let me now show you the companion app that is supposed to help you in writing the configuration. So uh, the first feature of the companion app is that uh, sometimes the uh, unlocking of the phone, the phone may not wake up at exactly at the time uh, when the uh, Raspberry Pi sends the command. There might be a delay of 10 seconds or something or it depends on it depends on device to device and uh, sometimes it might take over 30 to 40 seconds to uh, wake up the device and unlock and start the recording. So in order to overcome this problem, the, the companion app allows you to set the time at which you want to wake your phone up so that it receives the command from the Raspberry Pi instantaneously. So all you have to do is uh, set the clock and uh, choose the time, choose the hour, choose the minute and press the set button. Now another feature is uh, that of the installed app. So you should, you're, you're required to know the package name of uh, the FM app on your phone in order to launch it using the monkey command but uh, in order to that, that's not that, it, that doesn't seem to be so straightforward uh, and the companion app is going to help you with that it lists all the uh, apps and their corresponding package names that are installed installed on your phone uh, so you can just scroll through them and uh, get to know the app and it's not necessary that you use the monkey command. You could even automate that process by uh, giving the swipe and tap commands. Uh, but you would have to uh, configure it so that it will navigate through your uh, place where the app is installed and uh, launch it from the menu. The last feature is, is that it shows the IP address of your device which is again necessary for configuration. So to summarize, this is a framework that will enable one to schedule tasks for the Android phone or tablet.
it's not just restricted to recording FM. You can actually schedule any tasks, any, any number of tasks to run on your phone without having you to do it manually or interact with it at any time. Thank you for watching.